Have you ever wondered what would happen if artificial intelligence could control the power of the sun on Earth? Just days ago, French scientists achieved something incredible. On February 12th, the West Reactor in France held super hot plasma for 22 minutes. That's 1,337 seconds of controlled fusion. This beat China's previous record by 25%. But here's the real breakthrough. Artificial intelligence is now controlling these nuclear fusion reactions in ways we never imagined. The plasma reached 50 million degrees Celsius. That's three times hotter than the core of our sun, yet scientists controlled it perfectly. The story of nuclear fusion begins over 100 years ago when scientists first discovered atomic structure. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford split the first atomic nucleus. But it was Hans Bethe who figured out how stars actually create energy. Bethe won the Nobel Prize. He proved that hydrogen atoms fuse together inside stars to create heavier elements like helium and release massive energy. Now here's the crucial difference between nuclear fusion and fission. Nuclear fission, it splits heavy atoms like uranium or plutonium into smaller pieces releasing energy, thus creating a dangerous chain reaction. Nuclear fusion combines light atoms like hydrogen isotopes to create heavier atoms like helium. It has no chain reaction and stops immediately when conditions change even slightly. Fission creates radioactive waste that stays dangerous for thousands of years requiring underground storage. Fusion produces mostly harmless helium gas and very small amounts of tritium and other isotopes. Fission reactors can suffer catastrophic accidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima causing massive evacuations. Fusion reactors cannot have runaway accidents. Soviet physicists Igor Tam and Andrei Sakharov invented the first fusion power harnessing device in 1950 called the T1, which was the first tokamak, an experimental machine for harnessing nuclear fusion power. A tokamak is basically a giant donut-shaped machine that uses incredibly powerful magnetic fields to contain super hot plasma. These magnetic fields trap charged particles and keep them spinning in perfect circles. Without this magnetic bottle, the plasma would instantly touch the reactor walls and cool down completely. But here's the incredible challenge they faced. Plasma is naturally unstable and wants to escape these magnetic fields constantly. For decades, scientists used traditional control systems that could barely keep plasma stable for a few seconds. In 2016, China's East Reactor held plasma for nearly two minutes. Then in January 2025, they achieved 17 minutes of stability. But everything changed when the nuclear fusion reactor of the West in Cadarac, France, broke all records. West or tungsten environment. Steady state tokamak is an advanced reactor that uses tungsten parts to stabilize the super hot plasma because of its heat and radiation resistance. West helps scientists learn how to build future power plants that could give us clean, unlimited energy and thus making fusion energy a reality for everyone. On 12th February 2025, West maintained control over hydrogen plasma for 22 minutes and 17 seconds, setting a new world record. Scientists injected 2 megawatts of heating power continuously. They achieved 50 million degrees Celsius, which was three times higher hotter than the sun's core. But here's where AI enters the story. Princeton University researchers created an AI system that predicts plasma instabilities 300 milliseconds before they happen, working at D3D nuclear fusion facility in San Diego. Their AI analyzes 90 different measurements and adjusts 19 magnets 10,000 times every single second. Google's DeepMind went even further. At the TCV Tokamak in Switzerland, DeepMind's AI learned to control plasma shapes. It created D shapes, snowflake configurations, and even maintained two separate plasma droplets simultaneously. Tearing instabilities are plasma's biggest enemy, causing complete reaction failure in milliseconds. AI can now prevent these disruptions completely. This research was published in Nature magazine. But what about safety risks that nobody talks about when fusion plants become commercial reality? 
Tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen that fusion reactors need as fuel. Tritium emits low energy beta radiation and has a half-life of 12.3 years. If tritium leaks into the environment, it can contaminate water supplies and be absorbed by humans. Tritium becomes part of water molecules, making it easy to ingest through drinking water. High energy neutrons can make reactor components radioactive. Steel, tungsten and other materials become radioactive and stay dangerous for 50 years. In the worst case scenario, coolant pipe breaks could cause lithium fires releasing radioactive tritium dust. Multiple containment barriers prevent radioactive materials from escaping, but failures could still happen. Loss of vacuum could damage reactor components and release radioactive particles into containment buildings. Extremely strong magnetic fields can interfere with pacemakers and electronic equipment, potentially causing injuries. Cryogenic cooling systems use liquid helium that that can cause asphyxiation if it leaks but even worst case fusion accidents would cause radiation doses below evacuation limits. Unlike Fukushima accident which led to complete evacuation because of radiation, over 30 companies worldwide are racing to build commercial fusion power plants by 2030. The fusion industry raised $2.64 billion in 2025. ITER, the world's largest fusion experiment, will start operations in 2035. Unlike solar and wind, fusion provides constant baseload power 24 hours per day. Fusion fuel comes from seawater and lithium. One gram of fusion fuel equals 11 tons of coal energy. This could completely solve climate change. It could provide unlimited clean energy for developing nations worldwide. One billion people still lack electricity access. Fusion could change that forever with abundant clean power. But significant challenges remain before fusion becomes commercially viable for widespread deployment. Scientists must develop materials that survive intense neutron bombardment for decades. They need tritium breeding systems to produce fuel. Remote maintenance systems must replace components inside radioactive reactors safely. Fusion power cost must get close to renewable energy and storage systems. 35 nations collaborate on ITER. Private companies move faster than government programs with venture capital funding. Next generation AI will optimize entire fusion power plants automatically. Beyond electricity, fusion could produce hydrogen fuel, desalinate water and power industrial processes directly. Fusion-powered hydrogen production enables clean transportation. Fusion desalination could provide fresh water for billions of people. Research continues at record pace worldwide. AI systems become more sophisticated every month, improving plasma control precision. Temperature targets will reach 100 million degrees for actual fusion reactions. Before we finish, here's a quiz question for you. What temperature must plasma reach for nuclear fusion reactions to occur? Drop your answer in the comments below and let me know what you think about fusion energy. If this video amazed you, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Share this video with friends who care about clean energy. Consider becoming a channel member to support more videos like this one. The fusion age is coming faster than most people realize thanks to artificial intelligence breakthroughs that make unlimited clean energy possible. This could be humanity's greatest technological achievement solving climate change and energy poverty forever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.